So this is sweet potato wrapped in duck. There you go. Bear, don't snatch it. Good boy. <laughs> Usually when I want him to be careful, I just say easy. And then he takes it easy. Oh, you don't want it, Toshi? Normally they're like small pieces. I don't know why that one's so huge. This is really sounding like dog ASMR on my end. I don't know if that's picking up on camera for you guys. Pick up this piece. Pick up that piece. Good girl. You don't want to make a mess. They're very good. I think Toshi's like low-key pissed he got a sweet potato as a treat. <laughs> He seemed more hesitant than normal. Amy likes it, but like I get the feeling that this is not really what Toshi wanted. He's eating it, but he just didn't seem as excited about it. All right, now showing you what I eat every day is starting to get embarrassing. I don't know why I eat like everyone's son in college, but here we are. So this is what I'm gonna be having today. I've got two steak chalupas. I also have a cheesy bean and rice burrito, but no beans, so just cheese and rice <laughs> and then also this one is just one of those cheese roll up things so it's basically just like a tortilla with cheese in it and then of course fire sauce i didn't really know what else i wanted other than the two steak chalupas like that's what i knew for sure i wanted i just got the other stuff because i thought i would still be hungry after but this is what i'm going to be having today i always get the steak chalupa i just really wanted like the chewiness of the chalupa like shell so that's what it looks like and then i put three fire sauce in it I can't believe I'm showing you guys this, but this is the inside of the burrito. And then I just rip off all of the extra tortilla because if there's nothing on it, like why would I eat that? I don't know, I just wanted more food, but I didn't wanna order like four steak chalupas. Before when they used to have the Doritos Locos Cool Ranch tacos, I would have gotten one of those instead, but, or maybe two of those, but they don't, they only have the nacho cheese one and it's not as good. So anyway, I don't have many options these days in regards to Taco Bell. And now I'm just gonna have one of my strawberry Perrier. Toshi, don't just line up there thinking I'm gonna scratch you. Okay. Toshi, you're out of control with the tummy rubs. Okay. You won't have to stomp your feet on me. <laughs> Being antisocial. Come here. Oh, lady. Pretty girl. Look how cute he is, like a little stuffed animal. And then I got this one. Hi, lady. Toshi, relax. I'm just giving Evie some attention too. Don't lick my face. We don't want the licking. Toshi, you can't throw a fit because I'm petting Evie. <laughs> All right, well, I came here to drop some stuff off at the post office, but unfortunately, it is full. So I did my little self-checkout thing and I'm gonna have to um, drop a couple of the packages off at a different post office, so that's fun. Successfully dropped off the packages and now we can go home. Uh-oh, mommy stayed in bed too long. The dogs are not that happy. It's super windy today, I don't know if you can hear it. Thank you guys for being so sweet in the last video. Like, I honestly appreciate it because I was totally stressing about, you know, the frequency of the vlogs and getting the vlogs up and it's been kind of you know a stress all month you guys made me feel really comfortable with it so i appreciate that so much because it was definitely a concern you know how it is with the libras they never want to let people down or that's probably everyone honestly not just a libra thing Let's see which one you guys want today evie if you don't stop making that mouth noise also, somebody asked me, why does Toshi go and run in the second bedroom when Evie goes in my, my bedroom and then he just follows her? Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And the reason for that is because Evie used to go into that bedroom. Let's see. There she goes. So a lot of times she will go into that bedroom, but if she's not feeling Toshi and he does, she doesn't want him like all over her, then she'll go in this one. And then he's like, wait a minute. I thought we go in this bedroom. You two had fun when mom was asleep? Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this reindeer. I don't know. Remember he untied it somehow, but like now he made it so tight. <laughs> he made it so tight. And what they're having right now is just like, um, it looks like a rawhide, but it's really that like fake rawhide 
which is why he's like chewing through it so easy. I forgot what it's called. It's like some sort of rawhide free roll. But anyway, look at that. That's one of Evie's favorite treats. Look how tight he has it. I feel bad, like should I just cut it? I mean, I feel bad for the reindeer. Let's try to cut it. It's, this is like too scary. Poor reindeer. All right, I just cut it. Oh, I'll have to cut this little extra string off. Can I rip it? Yes. Oh, he looks weird with no scarf on now. I'll have to cut this extra string. But look at how much like fuller his neck really is. All right, I feel better about that just from, for no reason. Because I always feel like, imagine if Toy Story is real, like this poor reindeer. I think I should start vacuuming before the vlog, maybe. I used to do that, but just lately I haven't been doing it. You can't have another big treat, but if you want one of these little cookie ones, you can have that. He'll probably be back in like two seconds. Let's wait. Yeah, here he comes with his feet. No more bear. Why do you need so many? Last one. Come on. I mean, I don't know why he goes all that way just to chew it for five seconds. Because he's going to be back again. Here, I won't stop the video. I'll just let it go. You might as well eat it right here. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Burn the calories, Toshi. Okay, Evie, you want one? She probably doesn't even want this one. Come here. No. She wants something else. You're not going to have another big one right now, but you want one of these? She likes those hugs. That's what they're called. She almost never says no to the hugs, which it's hard to find a hard treat that she likes that much. I know a lot of times people are weird about Purina and stuff, but I mean, it's such a small part of what they're eating and they like it so much. So I decided to have a coffee today. I actually made it so good today. I know I said it in the last one, but I really did this time. Like last time was really good. I did one less, <coughs> sir. I did one less cream than I normally do. And I think that is like, hmm. So it's four shots of espresso, two creamers, and then I added sugar. It's 75 degrees out today, so I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that and wear a dress. And I'll probably bring like a little denim jacket to throw over it just in case it's, you know, kind of chilly. All right, so there's the full outfit. It's just like a little cropped denim jacket. And I'll probably wear it like a little bit off the shoulder. So that's the outfit. All right, actually I'm liking this outfit more than I thought I was going to, so I'm gonna try and take an outfit selfie. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this coach bag. So my iPhone with a case does fit in there. I have an iPhone XS Max, so the Max size does fit with a case. I usually carry my phone though, so I'm just gonna take that out, but I was surprised that this little card case fit in there, which I shouldn't be surprised, I guess, because it's smaller than my phone, but it just fits in there so perfectly. I've got the oil absorbing sheets, my keys, and then I'll probably put a lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm wearing today is this Maybelline, what is this? It's in the color Stone. I don't love this lip gloss, but a lot of people were asking me like what I'm wearing on my lips and stuff, so I figured I would go ahead and tell you, and hopefully this will fit in there. So I guess I'm just gonna lay it on top, and it should close like that. There, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I think I'm just gonna get Velvet Taco. And what I normally get is this buffalo chicken one, and then I get the corn. But I think I might also try this one, just cause like, I don't know, that's interesting. So sorry it's loud, but this is what I'm gonna be having. This is the one I always have. This is the buffalo chicken one, it's so good. And then this is the new one that I'm gonna try. I think it's like a special edition one. Although I will tell you right now, the smell of it is really bothering me. It's like very vinegary. There's the corn, but yeah, it's just like very strong smelling. So we'll see if I like it. And then to drink, I just have water. And apparently the corn comes with these chips now, which um, I'm not gonna eat because I don't really like corn chips, believe it or not. I don't regret trying it, but I wouldn't get it again. Uh, the buffalo chicken one is just a lot better. This one is very like, it kind of tastes like, you know, like sweet and sour soup. It kind of has that sourness to it. And here's the inside of the buffalo chicken one that I like. I just wanted to relax for a minute. I started watching X-Files again from the beginning for like, I don't know, the sixth time. It's kind of one of those things I can put on. I've seen it so many times that if I miss something because I'm not paying attention or I fall asleep, 
it doesn't matter. X-Files is like one of my favorite shows. I would say Fringe is probably my favorite like sci-fi show, but Fringe I feel like is very similar to X-Files. It's kind of like the new more sciencey X-Files. Well, not new now, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. The weather's actually crazy nice right now. It's like 75 degrees and it's almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna go get a smoothie and then uh, that's pretty much it for the night. I'm just gonna be editing and watching TV. So this is the mango pineapple smoothie that I got from McDonald's. I drank a lot of it on the way home, but I ended up getting a large today. It's my first time getting a large. And I just got that because I wanted to drink it while I'm editing and while I'm watching X-Files. But normally by the time I get home, I've already finished the medium. So anyway, got a large today. That's all I ended up getting. And then I'm gonna be done for the night with that. Today we'll show you this one. I haven't been showing you all of the ones just because, I don't know, I'm not gonna show you what my dogs eat every day, but this one is like a little bit more interesting looking. So I'll show you. So here's what this one looks like. You can see the chicken and the pasta. It feels weird to have pasta in there, I'm not gonna lie, but whatever. And also some peas. And they like this one, but like I said, the other one's their favorite. I would say this one's probably their second favorite. And the other two, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep buying those two or not, but these, these two I will. Guys, I might be one of the most random friends you didn't know you had. It is a little after 4 p.m. on a Thursday and I decided I'm really feeling like hibachi. So I think I'm gonna go to Benihana's. I actually haven't been to Benihana since I lived in California, but I did see that there is one, so I'm probably just gonna go there. And also because a lot of the other hibachi places close for dinner like they are open for lunch and they close and then they reopen for dinner and um, I'm like the only person that wants to eat randomly at 4 p.m. on a Thursday so uh, Benny Hanna's is the only one that I saw that stayed open throughout the whole day so that's what we're doing so just every every neighbor with a loud car while I'm doing this cool it's hella empty right now so I actually can vlog if I want to because it's relatively quiet or hopefully the classic salad with a soup that they do at every hibachi place. They charge an extra four dollars and fifty cents for this fried rice, and it really doesn't have much flavor. So I'm disappointed in that, but the meat is really good. I didn't know where to go to get dessert because I'm not really a huge dessert person, but I ended up just getting a Chick Fil A ice cream, which I think they have the best fast food ice cream, honestly. So I'm happy with that. I was gonna get one of those frosted coffees, but. I don't know, I think I just wanted the regular ice cream. I thought they had maybe one in a cup before, but I didn't see it, so I just ended up getting a cone, which the only reason why I would've got it in a cup is because now I have to drive home, but um, you know, I'll just do my best with this, I guess. Actually, I just ended up sitting here and eating it because I didn't wanna drive with it, and also I didn't want the dogs to be bothering me for it, um, but I don't know, I don't feel like eating the end of the cone, even though that's normally the best part if it gets like soft, but it's just like, I don't know, I don't feel like it today. Now this is a cup that I actually bought. It is about 6.40 right now and I'm just gonna have this. Uh, I just got home. I'm honestly gonna focus on editing right now, finishing my Christmas shopping and cleaning up the house so I don't know if you'll hear much from me tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try and do that and then we're gonna pick back up on X-Files. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be doing. I gave the dogs a treat already because I just got home and they always you know, get a treat when I get home. So they're gonna have that. Huh, is that good? And I also forgot I have to book a flight and I don't, just a lot of things happening. We've got a lot to do, huh? We got a lot to do, yeah. I hope I'm not covering up the camera's mic if I hold the camera with this hand, but my other hand is tired right now, so this will just have to do. Hopefully it works out. But I just wanted to come on here and say goodnight. I think I'm gonna end the vlog now just because um, I have a ton of stuff to do and I want to finish editing this and get it up for you so you guys have something to watch. It's only about 9.30, but I'm like freaking out because I have to finish up my Christmas shopping. Obviously, we're like down to the wire. I tried filming some clips of it, of me shopping around uh, like yesterday and today, but because it was so windy here, it the audio was just horrible I wasn't able to use it so unfortunately you guys lost out on those clips but I have not finished my Christmas shopping yet and I'm freaking out now because it's obviously very late in the month I've been super distracted with vlogmas and just time kind of got away from me so I want to go ahead and finish that up I have to book a flight which um, I looked at it the other day but I just like wasn't in the mood to do it and I want to clean up the house some and just kind of like get on top of stuff I want to call my mom I just have a ton of stuff that I want to do and I'm not going to be able to keep like picking up the camera to vlog but I also wanted to say goodnight because you guys know I hate it when I end the vlog like abruptly because 
I, I don't know. I need the closure. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to come on here and say good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. So that's pretty much it. I had a bunch of clips that I took today and I don't think all of them made it into the vlog, but that's just kind of what it is. I try my best. I try my best. Oh, by the way, Benihana's was horrible. I don't know if you could hear over the audio because the grill was still sizzling, but number one, they charge you $4.50 for fried rice to upgrade from steamed rice. Like who's getting steamed rice at hibachi? Like all hibachi does fried rice. So it was that, and then it was like pretty much tasteless. Like it looked like it would be good, but there was like no flavor. It needed more like butter and garlic and it needed more everything. So I was disappointed in that. My meat was really good though, so I was happy that it came out all right. But overall, was it worth $50? Absolutely not. Like I'll probably never go to Benihana's again unless like somebody else really wants to go, but I for sure would not be volunteering Benihana's up, nor would I go again by myself. Was my face even in that last shot? I just realized that my arm was like slowly getting lower and lower. But anyway, it wasn't until today that I remembered that I actually don't really like Benihana's. So that was disappointing and a waste of $50. And I am going to be more mindful of letting you know like what lip glosses I'm wearing and stuff like that because apparently you guys want to know that information. I'm still wearing the Maybelline one today. So I think the whole vlog, if I have anything on my lips, that's what I'm wearing. Not that the lighting is great, but you can see it, but just so you know. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get going and I will talk to you very soon.